So what are the three words that can actually increase your self-doubts without you even knowing about it? Well, the good news is they're actually a group of words that I call the woulds, and it's could, would, and the very worst, should. We'll come to should last, but could and would both have an element of apology or excuse to them that reinforce what you probably didn't get done. I could have got my homework done today, but I watched TV instead. I would have been able to, but I ran out of time. I could have tried harder, but I just didn't feel like it. If you insert your, your excuse here, but could or would means you either circumstances within or without outside your control stopped you from doing something, or maybe they prevented you from succeeding in the way you wanted to. So why should the worst one? Well, should's got actually two faces or two parts to it. Tony Robbins describes should as, as when you say should, you're shooting all over yourself. But I should is even, uh, it's not even apologetic, it's more of a blaming word. I should have tried harder. I should have known better. I should have realized that I should stay in my lane and not try too hard. The, the darker side of should is when we then ascribe it to other people. They should have told me I was on the wrong track. They shouldn't judge me like that. They should have supported me more. They should know better. And on and on it goes. Now, the interesting thing is, maybe not should, but could and would creep into our everyday conversation without knowing it. So now that you know the, the woulds and can watch out for them, what can you replace them with that will increase your confidence and create the future that you want to enjoy? Well, the most powerful words you could say is I am. But maybe if you don't feel you're ready to say I am, like Muhammad Ali declared famously, I am the greatest way before he actually was in terms of the number of fights he won, maybe it's you could say something like, I'm starting a new habit today, or I am planning the next stage of my project, or I am on the right path and I am taking the next step. I am. It's an action word, I am. I'm getting ready. I'm starting. I'm feeling hopeful that things will work out when I reach the next stage. It's could and would are such powerful words we use so often. It Sometimes it takes a little bit of imagination to find words to replace them. When I find myself saying could or would, I've pretty much got rid of should, except if I'm having an incredibly bad day, it can creep in occasionally. Could and would, I say I will, and then I realize that I will is way too far in the future, and then I will replace it with I am starting, I am planning, I am moving towards, I am feeling really excited about rather than, well, I could do that if I was feeling excited or if I felt better. So now you know the odds and how to watch out for them and what to replace them with. Have a play with that. I should, particularly you'll find if you're in a bad mood or having a bad day, I should will creep in. But at the end of the day, it won't help you feel better about your day. It won't increase your self-confidence. It will just add to self-doubt. And once you start noticing your woods, you'll realize how much they can change or rather slow down your day. Until next time.